Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Today we're going to look at number 22 on the Elementary Mathematics 53 Math MTEL exam. It's an exam for teachers uh, that want to teach on the elementary school level and they want to teach mathematics. It's a great test uh, to look at, uh, especially if you're looking to teach even in the middle school and high school level. So use this one to help you review some of those core ideas on the elementary school level and even the middle school and high school level. All right, so let's look. I'm going to read it over and apply a whole bunch of strategies. Number 22. A tool company produces a bolt from which the specifications require a diameter that measures between 0.997 centimeters and 1.03 centimeters. Which of the following pairs of measurements for the bolts are within the specifications? And it gives us options. Now I want you to read it over. Pause me, read it over, and as you read it over, always focus on the central image here, bolt, right? We're definitely, that we're going to have to talk about bolts. And what is a bolt? Well, if you think about, let's say you went shopping, there's this company's Ikea here, imagine it's Ikea, and we're going shopping for a bolt. A bolt, you know, is that, that when you buy Ikea furniture, they give you very, very specific bolts which fit into very, very specific nuts, right? And it's very, and the diameter of this bolt has to be, has to fit exactly with the nut. Otherwise, you're going to have some shaky IKEA furniture, right? Well, the same thing is true um, in this problem here. Our whatever whatever nut bolt that we we have, it has to reach, uh, it has to have a very specific diameter so it fits in perfectly with what it's supposed to go uh, fit in with, all right? And uh, I also notice when I look at this problem, I notice it has words like diameter and measurement and centimeter and another centimeter here and measurements here. Well, guess what? This involves measurement. It's definitely a problem that mixes in elements of measurement. And uh, I would say if I, if if looking at this, one of the key ideas is this could be an example of a measurement problem. And it also could be an example of a, what is this? What are these called? That little thing there, a decimal. These are definitely decimals, and this is the tenths, hundredths, thousandths. So we have some place value going on here. So we have in number 22, a number sense and operations problem as well as a measurement problem. And they give you this central image of a bolt. You got to sort of see the central image and spot right away that we're dealing with place value and measurement all, all in this problem, okay? All right, now I go into the solving of it. Who thinks of their, who, who is in the habit of looking at a bolt and, and measuring in terms of that thousands place, right? Me, you, anyone? I don't think so. We're really not used to working with decimals to the thousands place in everyday life. It's just not something that we, hey, can I get a bolt that's between, you know, 997 thousandths of a centimeter, blah, 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 right? So since you're not used to doing that, what I want you to do is I want you to make these numbers and values more concrete, these, me these, these measurements more concrete into values that you work with on an everyday basis or you're more familiar with. And what I mean is, I want to take this 0 0.997 centimeters or 997 thousandths of a centimeter, and I want to move the decimal over three spaces or multiply it by a thousand so that I can convert this number here into 997. And this one here, if I move it over three spaces, got to add that zero to 1030. Now, what this does is it's going to help me solve it a little faster because I can see right away that hey, that's, I'm looking for a, a range of measurements that is between 997 and 1030. It's just a number I'm able to deal with a little bit more, uh, I can see it a little bit more clearly. And you in your mind, you can look at these values here and you can do the same thing. Move the decimal over three spaces, or another way of saying that is turn these values into whole numbers. And you have to, what, the trick is you have to make sure you move all of them over, the decimal over all of them three spaces. So you, you can't leave this as uh, 120. You've got to make sure that you move that decimal over three spaces and make it 1,200. All right? And this one's, that, that one should be just 1,002. 
Once you do that, maybe it's a little bit more easier to see which ones fall into this range of greater than or equal to 997 and less than 1030. As you go through these and you look at them, maybe you see right away that, hey, this first one here, 979, it, it's a little too small. It's going to be kind of a shaky IKEA bolt. It's not going to fit the, the nut. So I'll cross that out, say too small. And this one right here, 998 is just large enough, but 1033, ah, that's just too big. I'm going to be hammering away at that IKEA desk. It, the, the, the bolt is not going to fit in the nut. And then uh, C, well, what's up with C? Notice how C starts big and goes small. Same with D. And answer choices A and B are small, big, small, big. So look, that's a, a, a syntax thing where they're changing the, the syntax on you. But if you, if you just keep the same pattern, small, big, small, big, you can, uh, you can solve it. Think of it as 999. It fits within one range. And 1005 fits within the other range. Guess what? C is the, the, uh, the bolt that's going to fit within our specifications. And we've just solved this problem. All right, these are just some ideas. The answer to number 22 is C. You guys are going to have a great day. Take care, team. Bye-bye. Hi, team. This is Chris Abraham from Go Math. This spring and fall, we're hosting a whole brand new series of workshops for teachers for math, science, English, and history. You should check out these workshops. We're going to be holding them in Massachusetts, in Florida, in New York, in California. Check them out. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care.